welcome back to a new video and today we have the follow-up to can i beat impopple on a pontoon and uh today we have can i beat impopple in a um rubber duck ring um whatever they're called what are they paddling pool there we go paddling pool now this one's actually going to be quite a lot harder and i'm doing it on impopple because i obviously need the power so and there's a couple of things i need to be able to sell as well but this shouldn't be too hard to start. So let's begin and get a... Oh, I don't know how I want to do this. Let's just get a couple submarines. Chill them. Actually, just the one submarine for now. Because we're going to need to make money. And the only way to make money in a paddling pool is going to be with the monkey buccaneer. Now, everyone knows... That the monkey buccaneer makes money um but it's uh, the only way to make money in this sense we're also not using brickwell because um anyway no no brickwell is a waste of space Let, let's be honest Sorry. brickwell could be useful like late game but i'm not really i'm not feeling brickwell So we need to save up for a merchant man unfortunately however um it's not looking too great and we might need to get an upgrade beforehand uh it's 2.7k so that's going to take at least a couple rounds we have camo already but we might need to move to uh we'll get camo led on the uh buccaneer we'll get grape shot all the way to fiery grapes but um at the moment it's looking like i'm going to have to probably oh it's going to be very close i'm gonna no, we're going to get twin guns now. And then in a couple rounds, now I have twin guns. We'll be able to get the uh, the extra money from the merchantman. Now we still do have uh, some spikes at the end. But now that's done, um, we're actually going to move all the way to... Oh, this is not good. Well, after that little mistake, I realised that that's not going to work and I'm going to have to get the next. Well, another sub just for the meanwhile. What can I get barbed? No, I just can't get barbed. Let's get another sub. So I bought the next merchantman, but I am going to have to get all the way to Hotshot because that is coming next round. So uh, lob that on strong and then we should be fine for leads and then definitely fine for camos and we can make it all the way until uh well round 40 where we're gonna have to get a couple more upgrades to um well to beat the moab which is gonna be more difficult than uh i'd really rather it be So, getting rid of the other monkey sub here, we're going to focus on getting money and lob in another uh, buccaneer. Obviously, we're going to take that to merchantman again. Now, it's not gonna, we're not going to have great damage through um, through merchantman. So, we're going to have to focus on the sub for damage and we'll probably just take it, you know, the most damaging bottom path cross middle. Because uh, I don't need the uh, top path for now. I will need it later, but for now we'll, uh, we'll be perfectly fine. Okay, we've now got the monkey sub all the way up to armor piercing darts. I mean, that's plenty of damage and it should really be able to just melt the, the Moab. Not quite as much damage as I wanted, but that's still perfectly fine. We won't have mobs for a good while now. So our camo, uh, our camo damage is uh, kind of weak. So we're going to actually focus these two on the top path 
to really increase our camo damage and for a little bit of leaking if it does happen but well, this one will stay on hot shot for that round 59 that's going to come eventually So right now, it's actually going to be quite focused on making as much money as we can. We get a couple grand per round based off the trades, but that's not really going to be that much. Now, I can either go for Sub Commander or I go for Trade Empire. Sub Commander is probably going to have to be our best shout, although I might actually switch up and go for an Energizer at this point. But I still do need single target damage, so I would need a Sub Commander somewhere. So it's a, it's a real big predicament we are in because you want to be able to keep as much money as you can but we probably are going to need more damage. Um, if I go for the sub commander I'll be able to beat 60 and possibly 63. However if I do go all the way and get two subs I will lose some of my money making but I will be able to beat the rounds pretty easily. Unfortunately here my mic is a... Uh... It just mutes itself and I don't have any more audio, so I'm going to do a bit of an over voiceover for the last bit and that's actually well because it would uh, be a long video if I just let it go as it was. So I do eventually end up making the, uh, the Empire and that means I was able to get a bit more money. Now with the more money I just had to spend the time saving up because I think that was really important actually, but with the sub commander and the trade empire i was able to save up enough money to eventually switch one of the trades and the sub commander and that was able for me to uh you know get the energizer and the energizer is really important the main reason that the energizer becomes important in the late of the game is because i do use abilities however the most important part is the ceramics now ceramics are a big problem and they are a big problem coming into round 90 and especially around 98 but with the amount of money I could make I realised I could make 4 tier 5s if I wanted to and even more if I had the space so I realised these two were going to be good and as soon as I got Energizer I needed to get another one so another one of the trades was going to have to go and that was allowing me to get a you know a carrier flagship now a carrier flagship is a very good tower and it also buffs other water towers so it was a pretty nonsensical i know what i was doing i mean there was no debate there carrier flagship with hot shot and this is mainly for uh ddt damage i mean you can go for camo but i had an energizer already so the camo didn't actually matter i mean at this point i was just making money and i was pretty comfortable with the amount of damage i was doing so the only thing i actually needed to do moving forward was to look at what i was going to be able to fit in the rest so I thought Preemptive Spike was a good option because, you know, I need a lot of damage to at least the bad at the end, but it will help for DDTs or ZOMGs in the game. But I realised I could get two more, so I got another 0 to 4 just for a little bit extra damage, and that was my final uh, team. It was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be, and uh, that's mainly because I think the money making was so much more efficient. You can fit the flavor trades in so many different situations. Here you'll see me kill the bad, and that's just two preemptive strike, and it's pretty simple. Thanks for watching. Suggest any other challenges in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.